penis hand. <laughs> What's that penis? Rape again? <laughs> I already killed my parents. What more do you want, penis? <laughs> That was optional. <laughs> well, I'm really glad to be here. It's my first time here at Yuck Yucks. Anybody's first time here at Yuck Yucks? Yeah, awesome. Hey, guys. Yeah. It's, it's pretty bizarre, though. It's like you go backstage, it's kind of like a little, it's like a, it's like a dungeon back there. It's already pitch black and dark. And, and uh, long story short, do um, you ever think something's a glory hole? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Chewbacca training. <laughs> I just told the trouble of the old well. <laughs> Unless you're drowning, sir, in those breasts. I regret nothing! <laughs> the doctors did their best, but it took him two hours just to get the smile off his face. <laughs> no, I'm glad to be here performing at the, uh, the pulse generating station of the Enterprise. <laughs> well, there's growth on my neck. I think I'm too close to the pulse generator, Cap. <laughs> Oh, it just stinks. Oh, hang on. It's a chigger for my Value Village t-shirt. <laughs> so in honor of Charlie Sheen's in town today? Yeah, in honor of Charlie Sheen, I had my first threesome this week. And it was okay. Anybody had a threesome? I, it was my first threesome. Maybe it's just me, but, you know, she just kept rubbing the penises together. It's important to have goals, sweetheart. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm Dwayne. You are texting. <laughs> oh, no, I think stuff right here. Your mouth is gonna help. It's an ice pick. That's a nice name. Nice tattoo. <laughs> Women are always looking for a man with a, who's not afraid of commitment. Date someone with a neck tattoo. Not afraid of commitment or prison rape. <laughs> I had to, I was, I was uh, out to uh, to lunch with a friend of mine today, and he's incredibly boring. Do you know like an incredibly boring friend? Perhaps me, or <laughs> And I couldn't understand what he was saying, and I asked him to repeat himself three times, and I just, he didn't absorb. You know, it's one of these people so boring, you'd be like, what happened to the cottage? Well, I went to the cottage with Pete and Henry, and of course, Martha came along, and she brought the kids, and then... <laughs> white noise generator. Oh, good luck drowning. Good evening, I'll be in the breasts. Hair by Dollarama. Combs itself. I was at Dollarama today. You guys love Dollarama? I love Dollarama so much. So much, too much. Like, where else are you going to get pine-scented toothpaste? <laughs> Eight puddings for a dollar. Rainbow trout flavored. <laughs> you buy a, I bought a Beatles CD there for a dollar. A Beatles CD. You get it home, it's sung by Stephen Hawking. <laughs> hey Jude, don't look so sad. Make a sad song. And they get better. Remember to in for heart. My arteries are dying. My arteries are dying. The good thing is you can actually get voice box batteries at Dollarama. I feel like a kid again. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. We used to this. We used to this competition where we go to find the best value for our Dollarama dollar. Yeah. Yeah. And I got the, uh, one week, I got a six-inch non-stick frying pan for a dollar. Win, 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 yeah? Thank you. Can I get a Wookiee hell yeah? 
Apparently he's fondling someone. <laughs> it's a wookie handshake, baby. <clears throat> no, the uh, I, I, I bought this nonstick frying pan and I was so I was so happy I got it home and I'm like, I'm not six inch nonstick frying pan, this is amazing. But then I realized some stuff is actually too cheap at Dollarama. Some stuff you shouldn't spend a dollar on. Bulletproof vest, that frying pan. Two weeks later, I'm cleaning it, and I can see my reflection in the bottom. Where will the non-stick go? Oh, it's inside me. And the cancer's inside me. And I paid for it. There's only a dollar. Win, win, win. Be the cancer ward. Smoke for 40 years. Throw your money in the shitter. One week with a non-stick from Dollarama. And I've got a helper monkey. Who masturbates more than you think? And more than I ask. Which is important. The one thing I gotta say you must not ever, 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 ever please get a Dollarama is uh, never ever buy the meat. Do the math, people. It's not a pretty picture. You buy one pound of meat in a metal tin with a key and a printed label that's traveled 5,000 miles, everyone made a profit, and it's only a dollar? You'd be lucky to get an anus in that can of meat. Someone was fired for dropping an anus in that can of meat. The thing is that you so, you're fired. That's my Portuguese. I also kiss that way. <laughs> but that should have known though. You look at the label and it says cow style meat. Huh. An homage to cattle. We use nature's other other white meat, the capybara. A slow moving rodent that you can be caught with poisonous frisbees. Mmm, you can taste the hopefulness. <laughs> <laughs> but I love Dollar Rabbit, it's my favorite, favorite place on earth. Do you guys, uh, are you guys, um, on the Facebook? Yeah! Yeah, of course you are, of course you are. But you know someone who doesn't want to be on Facebook, right? Who's like militantly yeah. opposed. Exactly, this guy, right? You're like, hey, I'm not doing Facebook. No way, I'm way cooler than that. Ooh, horseless carriage? Fuck that shit, my horse rocks, yeah! Whatever your horse, broken an ankle, had to kill in front of the kids. Car still running. Kids don't watch, but we can't look away, Dad! <laughs> but did you have to fuck it to death? No, you have people that like, they're like people, people that refuse to be on Facebook are like people that hold on to their virginity for too long. Irritating to listen to, and you know how the movie ends. Eventually they're on Facebook. Eventually you're going to go on Facebook, and I'm going to hear from you, you're going to be like, oh no, you know, Kevin's on fa Facebook. Uh, Kevin is now a, has a unicorn farm. <laughs> Kevin has given you a stray unicorn. Thanks, Kevin. Kevin's a virgin. Kevin has, has slept with a, someone. Now Kevin's eating black cock by the pound. <laughs> You've gone too far, Kevin. You should have just busted your Facebook cherry five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen this commercial to Selena, Selena on Barnes? Have you seen Selena on Barnes, these commercials? Yeah. Call Selena on Barnes if you suffered severe brain damage. Who honestly asks people with brain damage to call Selena on Barnes? Selena on Barnes, how may I help you? The rainbow the guy me. Please hang up, sir. Please hang up. So I'm a voice actor. That's what I do for a living. I'm going to wrap it up tonight now. And, uh, that's what I do for a living. I'm a voice actor. I do movie trailers. Do you guys like movie trailers? Yeah. yeah. They're better than the movies sometimes, right? Like, they really are. And, um, the best part of movie trailers, I've done a bunch of them, is that they, uh, they have this thing called, they, have thing, they, they, they do a turnaround in the middle. So if you just bear with me, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. They do this sort of turnaround. They sound very dramatic. In a world without justice. <laughs> a world without pity. One man stood alone this summer. Will Ferrell's going back to school. <laughs> but would he teach the kids, or would the kids teach him? The things fine on tour and Paramount Pictures presents a film about growing up, I'm out of faith, and moving on. Will Ferrell is substitute teacher. <laughs> <laughs> 